yes carpers welcome back to the channel uh, yes I'm back fishing again uh, sorry it's been a long time but I've been so so busy uh, busy with work uh, busy going to Disneyland with the kids absolutely loved it wicked time there also had a wedding in, in near Wales Hertfordshire or somewhere like that I can't remember I know it was a four-hour drive from here uh, stayed there for a couple of nights absolutely buzzing to go there um, and also the weather um, the weather has been really crap um, as you all know I hate the sun I hate fishing in the sun and as you can see autumn is here and the miserable weather the miserable wet cold weather is here but that is me I absolutely love it um, this week we are at Silver End next week we are at Burners Hall so make sure you tune into that um, I'm gonna go and get the kit out of the car and I'll see you on the bank in a minute Yes, carpers, well, sorry for interrupting the video, but it's competition time. Not from me, but Iconic Baits themselves. They are doing a little giveaway where you can win um, a 48 hour session, all expenses paid, all your bait paid for. Uh, you ain't got to worry about bait, you ain't got to worry about the venue. You literally just turn up and you can fish with either myself, Hunter, the Grant, Keelan, Charlie, Pete the Chef or Mason, James Mason. All you have to do guys is go over to Iconic Baits, find this post, read through the post, do exactly what they say on there. Um, competition ends on the 24th of November, so you've got just under two weeks to uh, do it. And yes guys, obviously if you vote for me and you win a session with me, obviously it will be filmed, it will be on YouTube and you'll be on my channel and the, the video will be all about you. So yes guys, if you wanna win this competition, you wanna win fishing free for 48 hours, all your bait supplied with one of these top guys, um, full of knowledge, all you have to do is head on over to Iconic Baits page, read through the post, do exactly what they say on there um, competition runs until the 24th of November uh, literally on that night on the live they will do the live draw at half past seven on Iconic Baits on Instagram good luck guys well carpers we've had a little walk around the lake and it's actually quite busy to be fair um, have a guess what swim I'm in no you're wrong I'm not in lumpies because someone's in it which is good because I've always wanted to fish this this peg I think it's called the plateau um, it's where some of the big fish come out of over, over there so hopefully fingers crossed we're gonna have something got the old bivy set up just in case it decides to rain because it's it's looking a bit sunny now but it is being quite miserable but yes guys this session um, I don't know if you remember last session we tried the SOS which is the squid octopus and spice and we didn't have any luck whatsoever so this time we are trying solely the Scopex um, red liver so hopefully fingers crossed we're going to have something I'm going to get my rod sorted out I'll see you soon <sighs> well carpers that is the rod set up found two lovely spots um, the, the man in lumpies has gone um, he asked me I wanted to go in and I thought you know what I fancy a change I keep saying that you know I'm going to swap different swims you know fit, have a different bit of scenery so yeah I, I was sort of stuck in this peg uh, got one over to the far far trees um, probably a rod length off to be honest put about five spoms of bait out I'll talk about the, uh, the old spot bait tomorrow and I've got that right hand rod where I usually have my left hand rod in lumpies and to be fair when I'm fishing in lumpies with that left hand rod it is in this peg anyway so we stuck a little pink krill wafter on that uh, sorry a pink krill uh, pop up on that and hopefully hopefully we're gonna have something tonight if not we'll change a few few tactics um, we've bought some uh, solid bag stuff so we can try some solid bags tomorrow 
But for now, carpers, I'm literally going to crack open some uh, drink. I'm just going to lay on this bed and I'm going to chill because I'm absolutely knackered. Um, not had much sleep uh, last few days because of work and other commitments. But anyway, guys, tight lines and I'll see you soon. Look at that carpers, how misty it is. It's literally just about to go, go dark, the sun's just gone, gone behind them trees. Look how misty it is. God, I love this time of year. Well, carpers, I'm eating well tonight, look, spaghetti bolognese. Missus made that for me last night, uh, tubbed it all up for me, so I'm just boiling up some pasta. Cannot wait to tuck into this. Got to eat well on the bank. Half six and it's pitch black. Good morning, carpers. Well, unfortunately, no fish. Um, by all accounts, the whole lake has been fishing really, really slow. Uh, I'm gonna change change that left hand rod today. Uh, that right hand rod, I'm gonna keep the same because that's always been a winner for me. Uh, like I said before, when I used to fish lumpies, I used to fish to that spot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to that. But that left hand rod, I'm gonna change. Uh, I'm probably going to put a solid bag out um, with a, probably a Scopex uh, dumbbell wafter. Um, I'll, I'll show you it later. Um, gonna gonna keep spawning some bait out to that bite hand rod. Um, not heard many shows. I heard a, I heard a couple during the night, but nothing to be had, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna get some bacon rolls on the go. Um, I actually slept in today, it's about 10 o'clock now. Um, as you all know, I work nights. Um, yeah, I was awake for quite a while last night. And yeah, basically just catching up on some sleep. I mean, that's that's what I do at fishing. <laughs> I literally just catch up on some sleep. Uh, but yes, guys, I'm gonna sort these rigs out, sort these rods out, get some food on the go, keep watching the water, and uh, I'll see you soon. Well carpers, I don't know if you could see that in the middle of the shot, but just before we get to, there you go, just about there, look, I've just been seeing a lot of fizzing coming up, uh, quite a few patches, not sure what they are, but I've, I've reeled in that left arm rod, and I've literally just put a, a solid bag out there with a Scopex red liver uh, wafter, uh, just trimmed down a little bit, uh, but there's a lot of, lot of bubbles out there happening, I don't know if you can see that guys. Yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> so yes, carpers, just spotted some bait out and just thought we'd talk about the bait that I've been putting out. In here we've got some 18 and 15 mil Scopex and red liver. Um, literally got some halves in there as well, which I've chopped up with some scissors. And uh, we've also got some hemp and maize in there. And we've also got lots and lots of Scopex uh, uh, food food liquid um, by another brand unfortunately because we don't do them yet but we are in the process of making the right one and we have got to get it right but yes carpers that right hand rod has gone out again on the same spot still the same pink krill uh, pop up at ten and a half wraps and I thought you know what to make things a bit easier um, I found another spot at ten and a half wraps out to basically just where that horse is to be honest so I've literally got both of them out at ten and a half wraps just to make life a bit easier and that left down one is where I saw a fish uh, jump out this morning and where all the fishing was anyway so hopefully fingers crossed we're gonna have something um, got someone to my left fishing he come on last night um, he's not had anything and I think we've got a couple of day anglers over there uh, they went home last night. I think they've only got a day ticket, so they've come back on this morning. Um, not sure 
if they anything this morning because as I said I got out of bed late guys and I f that was a well deserved lay in to be honest but anyway carpers I've had some food I've filled my belly up uh, we're going to watch the water uh, and see what happens hopefully we're going to see some fish jumping um, to be fair I f I'm going to stick to these same two spots anyway hey right, guys tight lines Right carpers, I'm just about to do that left hand rod and this is what I'm going to be putting out. Um, I'm going to take the solid bag off, um, bring it into the ten and a half wraps that I've been spodding out earlier. And yeah, literally just going to put this uh, this Ronnie rig on with a little Scopex red liver wafter and some bottom baits, Scopex and red liver bottom baits in this mesh bag. Um, just change things up a little bit. Um, not really tried mesh bags since I've been in here, so hopefully, hopefully something's going to happen. Uh, the fish are starting to bosh. The weather's looking amazing. Still a bit chilly, but the sun's out a little bit. Hopefully, it's going to disappear. Anyway, guys, fingers crossed for that carp. Yes carpers, well we're just coming into the last evening now but I just want to give a massive shout out to Elmstead Fish and Tackle. Um, not only do they sell an outstanding range of gear, um, literally everything you could ask for, uh, but they are fighting back and they are bringing back the independent small fishing shop. Yeah, they're bringing it back guys. As you all know, the Angling Direct are taking over the Monopoly and they're basically pricing all these independent shops out. But Elmstead Fish and Tackle are fighting back. Um, they've got a shop in Elmstead Market. You obviously know it, it's called Elmstead Fish and Tackle. They've also got the shop down Harry Road in Colchester. And in case you didn't know, guys, Wass is unfortunately shut down. Um, yeah, it's sad news. It's been around for years and years and years in Colchester. Even Spooner works there for a while. Uh, but yes, as you all know, guys, well, you might not know, but Elmson Fish and Tackle bought that as well. And they have changed that to Copford Fishing Angling. So get yourselves up there, guys. Either Harwich Road, the old Wasties on Copford, London Road, Mark's Tay, or Elmson Fish and Tackle. Uh, really nice bunch of guys. Help anyone out. Need any help, tips, or anything? Go and see them, guys. See you later. Good morning carpers, unfortunately no fish, uh, by all accounts the whole lake is fishing very very slow lately, uh, I think it's been hammered um, the last you know, three months you know, during summer and everything, but geezer to my left of me right down in the corner, he had one this morning at half four this morning, um, at 24 pound I think he says it was, um, so well done to you, uh, we've got about three or four hours of fishing left. Um, it rained last night, so I've, I've got to try and dry everything out before we go. Anyway, guys, see you soon. Oh, well, Carpers, that is a wrap. Unfortunately, we are blanked again at Silver End. But there was one fish come out. But other than that, the lake is fishing really, really hard. Um, don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe to this channel. Let's build this algorithm up. Over 90% of you guys are not subscribed. Um, it's, it's free. Just hit that bell icon, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. 
um, give it a share, leave a comment, just help help me grow this channel, guys, just so we can get to, to some more adventurous places. But yes, guys, you join me in two weeks' time where we are on Burners Hall. We are starting our little winter campaign, uh, Winter on Burners Part 1. Hopefully we can bag some 30s and hopefully maybe a PB. See you in two weeks, guys.